So, False alarm. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> Sorry, this I, is a fake news podcast, right? Fake yeah. news. <laughs> fake, fake news. Fake news. Um, anyway, um, so now I can, I, I want to go over the uh, individual uh, quarterfinals. So, uh, Aaliyah, you had a great video of the wall ball burpee box overs. Um, oh, the grief burpees. Did you yeah. do that one already? Yeah, that I started with that one, which what? in Why? retrospect was oh, maybe I... the best idea. Why did you do that? <laughs> so I knew it was going to be my worst one, and I oh. wanted to get it out of the way and also leave enough time to redo because I have a really, really bad habit of having to redo burpee workouts. <laughs> Oh, no. um it happened last year i the open workout last year with the shuttle run burpee pull up i did that workout three times whoa um yeah oh my gosh. i was <laughs> i here's you i was so wrecked from that one i was i was sick and I, I literally couldn't like my quads were blown up yeah i don't even know how you repeat that three or, like do that three times i when i was reading yeah. when i was when i was reading that i was like okay that that has to be a workout that um that you do like as the last the last workout possible i was like because like th like because yeah. your legs are so fried from all those from like squatting and jumping and like trying to get up on the burpees like i i don't like the from what where your your um your stories was was you doing the burpee box overs i was like oh my gosh like why is she doing that first like i i and i, I don't know are your legs are okay yeah, I mean, my legs are a little sore when I woke up this morning, but um, I actually I went and did workout one this afternoon. And after I got warmed up a little bit, I felt fine. Okay. Um, it, it, it is 150 wall balls, but it's 150 <laughs> wall balls over the course of 20 minutes. So it's not like you're doing Karen. Um, yeah, yeah. And so it's not quite as compounding. Um, and like 150 burpees. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm working on. That's yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. So there, there it is. That that's the that's the <laughs> that's the grief burpee. Oh, grief burpees. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Um, but what, it just what? like in in my mind, it made sense to do that and get it over with, basically. Yeah. Um hoping i wasn't gonna have to redo it but i'm gonna redo it <laughs> um and i was also like i for me i'm i'm not concerned about doing the lifting one first because i know that even fatigued i can lift well yeah. um so like that's probably going to be my last workout and i'm fine with that because i know that i can still move a barbell well even when i'm tired even when i'm sore um the handstand push-up one I know is going to make me very sore in my shoulders and my traps um you know it's also a lot on the hands so like a little bit of concern about ripping hopefully not um but the the concern is always there for that um and then it was really between one and two which one I was going to start with and I think um like mentally going into sprint intervals like two hours after you find out what the workouts are is just a lot <laughs> and I wasn't prepared to do this yesterday yeah so it I don't know it just seemed reasonable and logical to start with the wall balls and the burpees and I don't think it was the wrong decision um but I do think that I need to redo it for sure <laughs> <laughs> No, that's just savage. I mean, A is like, you know yourself as an athlete, which is also yeah. very baller. A lot of people don't know themselves as an athlete and then do what like people think they like, that is like reasonable, but you need to know what is good for you. But yeah. Yeah. Kudos to you, girl. I, uh, I'll be doing that <laughs> Saturday <laughs> afternoon and uh, hoping yep. that I, well, I it's okay for <laughs> the third one. <laughs> we can FaceTime each other and do it together. Oh, I'll do that. I'll I totally do that. Love that. Awesome. That's awesome. Hey, so uh, Kelly, so are you doing the quarterfinals right now? Yeah. yeah. So how's that going for you? Good. I did. I did three first and then I did one today. Um, yeah, I did. I just did three first. Cause that's going to be like, 
I guess like same thought process as Aaliyah, like that's like the weakness workout for me. It, it's also like uh, just one of those workouts that I think is going to be, it was like, it was super muscularly taxing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's one of those ones that I wanted to do fresh, um, but it's not like something that blew me up for the next consecutive workouts, like recovered really well from it. So it's not, but I'd like, I wouldn't have wanted to do that after, you know, 150 wall balls. But my handstand pushups for me, right? Like my handstand pushups are especially like strict handstand pushups are like a weak spot for me. It's something that I'm still working on. And so that's something that I was managing. Like I needed to do that fresh to maximize my performance on that. I can wall ball and burpee all day long. <laughs> well, and to be fair, I didn't actually do 150 burpees. So <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I mean, still it's getting over, getting the triple digits of burpee box jump overs, I think is right. quite enough. <laughs> yeah, that, that's hard. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely hard. So um, when you when you ladies saw the uh, quarterfinal workouts pop up, like what what were your thoughts? Because uh, obviously they talked about, you know, this is going to be accessible for, you know, the people that didn't make it to the quarterfinals. It's going to be great for classes and, mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff. So when I heard it was like in, you can incorporate it for a class, I was like, oh, OK, this is. I don't know if this is going to be a good program for quarterfinals, you know, skills, but what, what did you guys think about the, all the programming? I was a little worried when they said it was going to be, um, you know, workouts that the, the top 25% could do um, and workouts that you could run in an affiliate class. I, I was concerned that it was going to be a watered down quarterfinals this year, but I don't think it is. Um, I think at least one of one or two of the workouts are going to be challenging to run in an affiliate class. Um, like the rope climb one, I think is going to be a challenge to run as an affiliate just because of, you know, you, you got wall space for handstand pushups. You got people on the rig, you got people on the ropes, you got people on the rings. Like that's just a lot going on. Um, and then I think workout one, having a barbell, a rower, a box and dumbbells is a lot of space. Um, so like to the affiliates that can actually run those in a class, like props to them, <laughs> that's impressive. Um, but that being said, I do like the programming. I think it's uh, with only four scores, I think it's a fairly balanced test. Um, I think it will get the right people to semifinals. Uh, and that was my biggest concern about what the programming was going to look like if it was going to be kind of just like an extension of the open. And then it would be just very like cardio based athletes making it through. But I think there is enough in these tests to get um, the the fittest all around CrossFitters to semifinals. Awesome. Hannah, what you got? Yeah, I feel the same way. I was I was pretty concerned about just yeah, you're running an affiliate. It's four scores. Um, like it, there's very little margin for error with only taking forty people's semifinals. So I I really like the workouts. Um, I mean my I know of I mean two affiliates here that ran like workout one today and like it went off like I mean I think people weren't some people weren't thrilled. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, um, but like, you know, like people are having fun. Um, I do think workout two might be a challenge. Like I know with, um, the gym, my clinics in, uh, like we don't have 15 foot ceilings. So if like people can make it like through like 10 strict handstand pushups, which that actually has gotten kind of, like bottlenecks a lot of people. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with rope climbs. So that's going to be like TBD, at least at that location. But legless, legless rope climbs. Yes, legless rope climb, seated legless rope seated climb. Seated legless, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, or just like, I don't know, like hold at the top a little bit more. 
Uh, um, I'm sure we'll count that. Yeah, yeah I know. Just like climb back down. <laughs> Halfway climb down. down. Go back down. Go back down. Go back down. <laughs> or, or, or you just hang out to the rafters and do like 10 pull-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm going to tell, tell people to do that tomorrow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or at least Saturday. It would be Saturday's workout. But uh, no, like people, like, I think, I think it's super cool. I love the, it's like, I think it's like they have a good test of workouts to find the like the 40 fittest people in the region um so i'm thrilled i like i think they're fun like i had i was like on the fence about doing the workouts and then once they released i'm like oh these are actually kind of just they're just fun uh so that's why i like i jumped in today so <laughs> awesome kelly what you got yeah i think uh like my first thought when they were released was oh these look fun like, like i want to do these uh which was a cool feeling to have uh that doesn't always happen <laughs> so would you think that cool. about the wall balls and burpees i i like wall balls and burpees <laughs> i really like that workout. Yeah, no, I, like that workout too. I think it's i mean it's gonna hurt Don't get you're me wrong. all sick you're all sick i almost I cried when i saw that one like, <laughs> there's gonna be that grindy slog where you get like halfway the round through uh, round two and you're like why am i doing this i like i mean i chose to do this <laughs> but, we paid to I do it like that uh yeah and i i mean i love wall walls and burpees so like no complaints here um <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i totally thought that everything looked really fun to me i think they did a really good job of creating ways to see separation in the field while still giving everyone an opportunity to play. Um, like with that workout three, you know, like, like three rounds of 10 handstand pushups and 20 toes to bar for time is still a good workout. Like that's not a, you know, like, yeah, it's going to be more sprinty, but, um, for people who don't have their strict handstand pushups, you know, or muscle ups, like, it's still a good workout, even if you're not finishing it. And I think that that's, um, I think that that's cool. I think like the clean workout, you know, I, I like barbell ladders because, you know, the fitter you are, the stronger you are, the faster you're going to get there, the more reps you're going to get on the heavier barbell. And yeah, I always wish the barbells are heavier. That's what I thought. That's what I, <laughs> I thought. I always want the, but that's me because I like heavy barbells. So like, you know, I have rarely seen a barbell workout that I didn't wish was heavier. So, <laughs> um, but I think they do do a good job. Like if, if they had put the heavy workout in workout one, say like, you know, if, if that snatch was like a heavy barbell you know, it, it wouldn't work out the same because no matter how strong you are, there's only so many snatches you can do in a minute. And so I think that the way they set up the clean workout to be the heavy workout, I think there's really an opportunity for the stronger athletes to separate themselves. And, um, yeah, I think I'm missing one. No, I think we talked about pretty much all of them at this point. Yeah. yeah. I think there's, I just, and I think they look fun. I have, I've had a few friends say that they like wanted higher skills and heavier weights. And I don't know. I feel like there are heavy things and there's high skill things and, and there's places to create separation. And I, and I think that stuff is only going to progress in level of difficulty when you get to semifinals. Like that's what semifinals is for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I think, go ahead. Oh, I think, I think Dave had a week in review video where he talked about like, before the workouts came out, um, he made the comment about, you know, the workouts are going to be um, accessible and it's just going to be a matter of like how hard you go. Like it was going to be the intensity that makes the difference yeah. <laughs> for the higher level athletes. And like you look at workout one and it's a perfect example of that. Anybody can do workout one. I am you're curious gonna to do a lot more volume if you're fitter. <laughs> yeah. I am curious to see the results of workout one. Cause I do think that there, that's going to be like one of those things where like one or two reps is going to be a lot of places on the leaderboard. Yes. I mm -hmm. think that's very true. Yeah. Do you think so? So for the men's side, for that barbell workout, do you think instead of doing at two forty-five, if they did it at like 
275. Do you think that would be a better workout for them? Because I did. So Savan had had a uh, Colton Mertens. Um, uh, oh, what's up? Uh, geez. Um, Taylor, Taylor Sell, Dallin Pepper and um, Jason Hopper. Jason Hopper. So they, they did the workout together. Like all four. All four of them pretty got pretty close to the the thirty rep range at the two forty five, and so do you think if they added it to like two seventy five, do you think it'd be maybe a better workout for everyone? Because you know, obviously, with that extra thirty pounds, you know, there'll be less reps, and you'll have like some you know crazy weightlifter that can like lift up like more more weight, and obviously they're probably split jerk most of the time instead of push jerk because it's all the energy that's going to be wasted. I don't know. Like, I mean, I did this workout. I almost failed 165. So, um, I mean, granted, I'm not the strongest, um, but it really like, I don't like, I think this is like people who are strong, like get to show that they're strong, but they get this, but you also get to see like their capacity, right? Like I don't um, like, CrossFit, you're supposed to be good at so many things where I think like if you just had like a super heavy barbell at the end, it's like it's still like kind of like I mean, it already has like a bias, but that would be really like making a bias workout. And then again, with only four workouts and such a smaller field at semifinals, like I think this was like the right choice and weight. Um, yeah. Like, I don't know, maybe like if people who get like a bajillion more reps, maybe than me, like, I mean, I, maybe they think they need to be heavier, but yeah, I, well, I thought, you, like, I thought it was like, 30. Yeah. I got 30. Yeah. You got 30. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have been mad at a fourth bar, a uh, fourth, fifth barbell. Yeah. So like, yeah. Yeah. And, then yeah. and then another rest minute and then max at like 185, well, 275, right. 185. Yeah. 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 I feel like like 30 reps is a lot. You know, at, at one yeah. barbell, honestly, like that's just gonna get boring. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. It just got it got sad. You definitely, you definitely feel sorry for yourself during it. Like I was like trying to go like look at the clock. Like, okay, I have to go. I have to go. Um, but so yeah, like maybe like it probably would have been nice. You would have had another rest minute too, which is also kind of nice. Uh. <laughs> yeah, um, I think that, and they did have a really biased like that workout three is a really biased gymnastics workout true but yeah that it's, is it's only gymnastics there is no monostructural no weightlifting gymnastics. it is only There's gymnastics nothing else there yeah yeah so i think um, I, yeah i i think that's probably the only thing that i would have said would make quarterfinals better it would be a fifth barbell yeah, I was so obviously I'm biased because I am a strength athlete. <laughs> um, I would have loved to see a 185 bar, even like a 205 bar. I, that would have been awesome. Yeah. But okay. uh, Hannah's like, no, no, like, no, yeah, no. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm good with my 30. Uh, I also I think it was weird. <laughs> I also think it was weird to only jump 10 pounds 10 to go pounds. 155 to 165. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little the, weird. Too. Like it probably should have been like one fifty-five to at least one seventy-five or one eighty-five. Yeah, and especially yeah, like, so like the, oh, go, sorry. go ahead. I was just gonna say the loading. The loading was weird this year, and I know that they they said they did the loading a little bit differently to make it easier to run as an affiliate. So like the female bars were eighty-five instead of ninety-five, so you didn't have to have change right. plates and like. I understand that. And maybe the 155 to 165 was just for ease of loading and changing weights in a class setting. I don't know. Um, but it's like there's been a lot of talk about how strong females are getting in CrossFit and how it already seemed not equal across like males versus females when it comes to loading and now we're going lighter for the females which seems like the wrong direction <laughs> yeah that's well, a, that's i don't a, know yeah that that's the one thing i'm thinking of is like i think just like the females in the sport are stronger now uh so like saying like we could do like like 105 135 165 185 something like that um yeah but it's just like those are like 
the generic weights of like, all right, well, other than like the 135, 85, but, um, and even like, I mean, way back in the day, it used to be 185, 135. I really don't know why they made the change to 125, like a handful of years ago. Um, but it's like, all right, well, but like the 225 is typically 155, the 245 is typically 165, which is funny too. Cause like most, I mean, most gyms don't have 15 pound plates too. So you, you already have the five change plates on with the 155 at most affiliates. Like you could have done 95. Uh, that's just like, you have to have them already. But yeah, I think just the, the females in the sport are getting stronger. So like maybe like, you know, in the next few years, it's like the female RX just has to go up. Like maybe instead of 70%, it's 72.5 or 75%. Yeah, yeah, I think I mean, the women's weights are hard because I do think that that's correct for the top athletes. Like female athletes, for sure, yeah. are much stronger now. But like for the average, when you're thinking about the top twenty five percent, I I don't think that's the case. Right. I think that I think that they're you know they are trying to make it more accessible. I just think that you had to, yeah. I think the best solution would have been like yeah maybe a bigger jump between one fifty five and one sixty five and then a fifth barbell to like yeah. make a like make a head nod to the female athletes that are stronger at the top of the sport would would you yeah. do would you do a one rep max or is that too much volume would that would that be just too much for the yeah. shoulders and everything yeah i don't think that workout needed a one rep max somebody uh Somebody at my gym mentioned that earlier, like, oh, how cool would it have been to go through that ladder and then you finish with a one rep max, but then you've got two strength scores in a five score test right. and that's just not okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, I, I don't think there needs to be a one rep max in quarterfinals as much as I love having a one rep max in quarterfinals. Um, see. Yeah, um, I, I want that too. I, I don't think we need that in quarterfinals. I think that's something that you save for maybe semifinals, definitely the games where it's like, okay, we know we have the right people here. Now let's let them show off. But yeah. we're still at a point where it's like, we need to get the right people there. Yeah. And having like the bias that you get from a one rep max just affects the leaderboard so much when you have this many people competing that with this many people and a tighter cut line, it it just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs>